Ever wondered what the richest people in the world don't want you to know about financial literacy? Now that's a question we've all asked ourselves at some point. The truth is, financial literacy is a powerful tool, one that can unlock doors and create opportunities. It's a language that everyone needs to learn, but sadly, only a few truly understand. The world's wealthiest individuals have a keen understanding of this language. They've mastered the art of making money work for them, not the other way around. But how is this possible? Well, it boils down to a deep understanding of four key concepts, income, expenses, assets, and liabilities. Let's start with income. While most of us strive for a steady paycheck, the ultra-rich focus on building multiple streams of income. They don't rely on a single source, but rather diversify, creating a safety net that grows over time. Next, we have expenses. The wealthy are meticulous about where their money goes. They invest in things that appreciate in value rather than depreciate. This is why you'll see billionaires driving around in modest cars, living in homes they've owned for years. Their money isn't tied up in flashy, depreciating assets, but rather, it's working for them, growing steadily over time. Assets and liabilities, the final two pieces of the puzzle, are where the true genius lies. Assets are things that put money into your pocket like investments, real estate, or businesses. Liabilities, on the other hand, take money out of your pocket. The wealthy strive to increase their assets while minimizing their liabilities, thereby increasing their net worth. The ultra-rich understand these concepts better than most. They're not just playing the game, they're setting the rules. And the biggest rule of all? They make their money work for them. That's the billionaire's secret, the key to their impressive financial prowess. The question now is, are you ready to learn their language and unlock your own financial potential? Imagine a snowball rolling down a hill. What happens? Much like the snowball, which starts small, gathers more snow, and grows larger as it descends down the hill, so does the principle of compound interest. It's one of the most powerful concepts in finance, and it's a secret weapon the rich use to grow their wealth. In its simplest form, compound interest is the interest on a loan or deposit calculated based on both the initial principle and the accumulated interest from previous periods. Picture this, you invest a certain amount of money and it earns interest. Then, that interest also earns interest. This cycle continues and your money grows exponentially over time. Now, let's delve into the power of time in this equation. The longer the time period, the more potent the snowball effect of compound interest becomes. If you start investing in your 20s, by the time you're in your 60s, you could have a substantial nest egg, even if you only invested a modest amount initially. That's the power of compound interest at work. What's more, the rate of interest also plays a crucial role. A higher interest rate will cause your initial investment to grow more rapidly. It's like giving your snowball a steeper hill to roll down. It'll gather snow faster and become larger in a shorter period. But here's the kicker. The rich don't just rely on compound interest. They use it as a tool in their arsenal alongside other strategies like investing in assets that appreciate in value, diversifying their portfolio, and reinvesting their profits. They understand that compound interest is a powerful ally in their wealth creation journey. So what's the takeaway here? Start early, invest consistently, and be patient. Let your money work for you. Let it snowball. And that, my friends, is the magic of compound interest. The rich know it, and now, so do you. What if I told you that the key to financial success is not just about making money, but also knowing where to put it? Yes, you heard it right. The art of investing is an essential piece of the financial literacy puzzle. It's not just about stashing away your hard-earned money in a safe, it's about making your money work harder for you. Picture this, you're an artist, and your money is your paint, the market is your canvas. Now would you splash all your paint in one corner of the canvas? Of course not. You'd spread it out creating a masterpiece in the process. This, my friends, is the concept of diversification in investing. By spreading your investments across various asset classes like stocks, bonds, real estate, and even commodities, you reduce the risk of losing all your money if one sector takes a hit. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. There are different types of investments, each with its own set of rules, risks, and rewards. Bonds, for instance, are like IOUs where you lend your money to a company or government for a fixed period, and in return, they pay you interest. Stocks, on the other hand, give you a piece of ownership in a company. When the company does well, so do you. But when it doesn't, your investment can take a hit. Then there's real estate, a tangible asset that can provide steady income through rent or appreciate in value over time. 
And let's not forget about mutual funds, index funds, and ETFs, which allow you to invest in a diversified portfolio without having to pick and choose individual stocks or bonds. The rich understand these nuances. They know where to put their money, when to do so, and how to balance their portfolio to maximize gains and minimize losses. It's not about getting lucky, it's about being strategic. So remember, investing is not gambling. It's a strategic game, and the rich are always playing. So, why aren't you? Did you know that the most successful people on the planet are also the most educated, financially speaking? Financial education is more than just understanding how to balance a checkbook or comparing interest rates. It's about knowing how money works, how it can work for you, and how you can protect it to ensure your financial well-being. It's about understanding the economy, the financial markets, taxes, debt, and the little financial intricacies that can make a significant difference in our wealth accumulation journey. The rich are not just wealthy in money, they're wealthy in knowledge too. They prioritize financial education because they understand that their financial success is directly linked to their level of financial intelligence. They're always learning, always growing their financial knowledge. This continuous learning opens their eyes to new opportunities, keeps them ahead of financial trends, and helps them make informed decisions that grow their wealth. But financial education isn't just for the rich, it's for everyone. It's for the college student who wants to avoid the pitfalls of student loans, the newly married couple planning their financial future, the single mother trying to make ends meet, the retiree relying on their savings to survive. Financial education is empowering. It gives us the tools we need to take control of our money, to make informed decisions, to avoid financial pitfalls, and to seize financial opportunities. It helps us understand the difference between an asset and a liability, the power of compound interest, and the importance of saving and investing. The financially educated are less likely to fall into debt, more likely to invest wisely, and more likely to achieve financial freedom. They understand that financial success isn't just about making money, it's about keeping it, growing it, and using it to improve their lives and the lives of those around them. In a world where financial security is increasingly uncertain, financial education is no longer a luxury, it's a necessity. So, let's prioritize our financial education. Let's invest in ourselves, grow our financial knowledge, and take control of our financial future. The rich are not just wealthy in money, they're wealthy in knowledge too. What if you could earn money while you sleep? Sounds like a dream, right? But let me tell you, it's not as far-fetched as it might seem. This, my friends, is the power of passive income. Now, you might be wondering what exactly is passive income? It's income that requires little to no effort to earn and maintain. It's the golden ticket to financial freedom and the secret weapon of the rich. It's the money that keeps rolling in, even when you're not actively working. Let's explore some examples to help you understand better. Think about a book author. They put in the time and effort to write a book once, but every time that book sells, they receive a royalty. That's passive income. Or consider real estate investment. If you purchase a property and rent it out, you're not trading your time for money. Instead, you're earning rental income month after month, year after year. Again, that's passive income. And let's not forget about the digital age we're living in. Creating a blog, a YouTube channel, or an online course can also generate passive income. Once you've put in the initial work, these platforms can continue to bring in revenue through ad income, affiliate marketing, or course sales. The beauty of passive income is that it allows you to leverage your time and effort. Instead of being limited by the number of hours in a day, you can create multiple streams of income that work for you around the clock. So why is passive income so critical to wealth accumulation? It's simple. It allows you to make money work for you, instead of you working for money. It gives you the freedom to focus on what matters most to you, whether that's pursuing your passions, spending time with loved ones, or even creating more wealth. And here's the kicker. The rich don't just have one or two sources of passive income, they have many. They understand that diversification is key to financial security and independence. The rich don't trade time for money, they create systems that earn while they sleep. And now, you know their secret. Do you think the rich take risks? The answer might surprise you. In the world of finance, risk is an inherent player on the field. It's like the shadow that follows every step you take, always present, always waiting. But the wealthy don't simply take risks. They manage them. They take calculated risks. This is where the concept of risk management comes in. Risk management is the process of identifying, assessing, and controlling threats to an organization's capital and earnings. 
These threats or risks could stem from a wide variety of sources, including financial uncertainty, legal liabilities, strategic management errors, accidents, and natural disasters. In the realm of personal finance, risk management involves the careful assessment of what you have, what you can afford to lose, and what you are willing to put on the line for the potential of greater gain. The wealthy understand this concept very well. They know that to make money, they must be willing to risk money. However, they don't just throw their money into the wind and hope it lands somewhere profitable. They study, they learn, they understand their options, and they make informed decisions. They are strategic about where and when they take their risks. They know the importance of diversification, of not putting all their eggs in one basket, but rather spreading their investments across a range of assets. Another crucial aspect of risk management is the safety net. This is the buffer that the wealthy build to protect themselves in case things don't go as planned. It could be in the form of savings, insurance, or other forms of financial protection. The safety net is not there to prevent failure because failure is often a stepping stone to success, but to ensure that when failure happens, it doesn't lead to financial ruin. So yes, the rich do take risks, they take them every day, but they are not reckless gamblers throwing money around on a whim. They are calculated risk takers who understand the value of strategizing and planning of assessing and managing the potential dangers that come with the pursuit of wealth. The rich take risks, but they are never reckless. Ever heard the saying, your network is your net worth? This phrase is more than just a catchy idiom. It's a powerful principle that the financially savvy understand and leverage to their advantage. The art of networking is like cultivating a garden. It's the process of sowing seeds of relationships, nurturing them, and eventually reaping the fruits of opportunities. The world's wealthiest individuals didn't accumulate their fortunes solely through solitary effort. They understood the importance of building a strong network. Imagine your network as a web. Each strand represents a connection, and each connection opens up potential paths to opportunities. The more strands you weave, the broader and more robust your web becomes, and the more likely it is to catch that golden opportunity. Wealthy individuals know this. They actively build and maintain relationships with a wide range of people, from industry leaders to innovators, from policymakers to influencers. This diverse network serves as a reservoir of knowledge, insights, and opportunities. But networking isn't just about quantity, it's about quality. It's not about how many people you know, but about the value you can offer and receive from these relationships. The wealthy don't just build networks, they build meaningful relationships based on mutual respect and shared value. Networking is also a two-way street. The rich don't just take, they give. They share their expertise, provide mentorship, and help others in their network when they can. This reciprocal spirit is what strengthens relationships and keeps the network thriving. Remember, wealth isn't created in a vacuum. It's built through a symbiosis of opportunities, knowledge, resources, and most importantly, people. The rich understand this and use their networks as a tool, a resource, and a stepping stone towards their financial goals. So, the next time you're at a social event or a professional gathering, remember to weave a strand into your web. Remember that each person you meet is a potential connection, a potential opportunity. And remember that each relationship you nurture increases your net worth in ways more significant than just financial. For the rich, their network is indeed their net worth. What if I told you that one of the secrets of the rich is giving? Sounds paradoxical, doesn't it? But it's a profound truth that's often overlooked. When we look at the world's wealthiest, we often see their opulence and wealth. But there's another side to this coin, a side that is deeply rooted in generosity and philanthropy. Consider Bill Gates, the co-founder of Microsoft, who has donated over $35 billion to charitable causes through the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, or Warren Buffett, the Oracle of Omaha, who pledged to donate 99% of his wealth to philanthropic ventures. What's the rationale behind such immense generosity? Well, these titans of industry understand something fundamental about the nature of wealth. They understand that wealth isn't just about accumulation, it's about circulation. Money is a form of energy, and like all forms of energy, it needs to flow to remain vital. By giving, they're not just helping others, they're also creating a flow of wealth that comes back to them in various forms. It could be in the form of new business opportunities, connections, or even just a sense of fulfillment and happiness that money can't buy. The rich understand that giving is an investment, not a sacrifice. It's an investment in their communities, in the future, and in themselves. It's a way of acknowledging that they are part of a larger ecosystem, that their success isn't just about them but about everyone and everything they touch. 
they also understand the principle of abundance. The universe is abundant, and there's enough for everyone. By giving, they are aligning themselves with this principle, creating a cycle of abundance that benefits not just them, but everyone around them. So, the next time you think about wealth, remember this secret. It's not just about how much you earn or how much you save, it's also about how much you give. Because in the end, the true measure of wealth isn't what you have, it's what you give away. The rich understand that the more they give, the more they receive. Do you think becoming rich is all about money? Think again. What we often overlook when we think about wealth is the pivotal role that mindset plays. The wealthy individuals of the world don't just have a different bank balance, they have a different mindset. They possess what we call a growth and abundance mindset. The growth mindset is a belief that abilities and intelligence can be developed through dedication, hard work, and the right strategies. This is in stark contrast to a fixed mindset, which believes that these attributes are inherent and unchangeable. People with a growth mindset are not afraid of failure. Instead, they see it as a learning opportunity, a stepping stone to success. They constantly strive for improvement and are not deterred by obstacles. Take, for example, the world-renowned investor Warren Buffett. Buffett didn't amass his wealth overnight. He faced numerous setbacks and failures, but his growth mindset allowed him to learn from these experiences and continually improve his investing strategies. On the other hand, an abundance mindset is a belief that there is enough for everyone in this world. This mindset is characterized by generosity, gratitude, and positivity. People with an abundance mindset believe that by giving, they open the door for receiving. They focus on opportunities rather than scarcity. They understand that wealth is not a zero-sum game and that the success of others does not diminish their own. Think about the philanthropic endeavors of billionaires such as Bill Gates and Mark Zuckerberg. These individuals, despite their immense wealth, understand the importance of giving back to society. They realize that wealth is not just about accumulating, but also about distributing. The rich know that wealth is not just about numbers on a bank statement, it's about the mindset with which you approach life. It's about believing in your ability to grow and understanding that there is enough for everyone. It's about being resilient in the face of challenges and generous in the face of abundance. The rich know that wealth is as much about mindset as it is about money. Ready for the final secret? It's simpler than you think. As we've journeyed through the labyrinth of financial literacy, we've unearthed the secrets that the world's wealthiest individuals keep close. But here we are, standing on the precipice of the final revelation. It's not an intricate algorithm, nor a hidden treasure map. No, it's far more straightforward. The last secret is this, taking action and persistence. Yes, you heard it right. It's not just about acquiring knowledge, it's about applying it. The richest individuals aren't merely repositories of financial wisdom, they are the embodiment of action. They don't just learn about compound interest or investing, they put their money to work. They don't just understand the concept of passive income, they create streams of it. They don't just appreciate the importance of risk management, they live it. They are the ones who, even in the face of adversity, persist. They stumble, they fall, but they dust themselves off and get back up again. They don't view failure as a full stop, but as a comma, a pause before they launch into their next venture. Imagine a library filled with books on financial literacy, investing, and wealth creation. The knowledge contained within is vast and valuable. But if those books sit unread, if that knowledge remains unutilized, what good does it do? It's like a key that's never used to open a lock. In the same vein, the secrets we've shared in this journey are keys. Each secret, each piece of knowledge, is a key to a specific door. But they're useless if they aren't used to unlock the doors of financial opportunity. So, you see, the final secret isn't just a secret, it's a call to action. It's an invitation to take the knowledge you've gained and use it, to persist even when the road gets rough. It's the secret ingredient that separates the wealthy from the rest. The rich act, they persist, and now that you know their secrets, so can you.